If you're wondering why I have grey lips and grey eyeshadow on and you're like, are you sick? Maybe. No. If you saw Monday's video, you would know that I shopped my stash for the Pantone color of 2021, which is grey and some kind of illuminating yellow. So I thought it was only appropriate for me to wear grey makeup. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my pen in everything project pen, hashtag pie. We are trying to hit pen on everything in our collection that we can hit pen on and just really get some use out of it. It's just a really relaxed project pen. In the beginning of January I did a reboot of this project pen because I really wanted to start fresh. It was a new year. I just wanted to work on something different. No eyeshadows, etc. I chose some hard items. I know that for sure. And it will take me quite a while to hit pen on these. But I really enjoy working on them. And I've really been enjoying wearing it this month. The eyeshadow tower fell over. Me and a bunch of ladies on YouTube and Instagram. We started this project in like October of 2019. So we have been doing this for quite a while. And I am not sick of this project at all. I have been really enjoying pan them, but not to the extent that I needed to finish them. So I really, really like this project just to get some use out of it and rotate and stuff like that. So I have been working on four products and let me show you guys where they are now compared to the beginning of January, the end of December. And something I am doing this year, I am tracking how many times I have used the product. I have never really done that unless I did set a usage, usage goal. The only item that I rolled over from last year into 2021 is my Neil Shure eyeshadow base thing in soft cover. I use it as a cream shadow so like on top of my eye primer but underneath eyeshadow and it's like a cream to powder eyeshadow, so this really lightens up the shadows that I am putting over top. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use my finger. It really depends on my mood. <laughs> but yeah, this is where I am now compared to last month. And I have used this six times since my last update. I will say that I've only worn makeup like ten times this month. Then we have the Honey Bronzer from The Butter Shop. And I have worn this eight times. I don't think you can see that much progress. You can see the wear in the middle. I don't remember how much wear I had uh, in, when I put it in last update. But again, I have used it eight times. My goal is to wear makeup more than ten times next month. <laughs> then we have the Cheeky Flusher from... W7. It's a dupe for the Orgasm blush from NARS. And this I have worn seven times. Yeah, maybe you can see the wear there in the middle. Um, because that is where I place my brush, <laughs> obviously. Um, this is a very powdery blush. It has a little bit of kick up, this blush. It's not really powdery, so it's kind of hard pressed. It's a glowy blush, but I don't really see that much of a glow when I use it. It's really weird. Because it has a lot of shine in the pan. And the last product I have here is my W7 Lives at Beach Highlighter Trio. And I am working on the lighter shade. And that is called... It actually has a name. Pearl Diver? Diver. I think. Pearl Diver. That one right there. So I don't know if you can see the use on that shade. But I have been using that seven times as well. A lot of the times I actually have mixed it in with the pinky highlighter. And I really like that combo. So I get some use out of that one as well. Which is really nice. But yeah, yeah, you can definitely see some wear in this product. I have a goal for next update to wear makeup more than ten times. But also to hit pan on this item. So that is what I really, really want. I do think I am pretty close at the pan because it is pretty deep and the product only goes down to here that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are going to stick around on my channel i do a lot of project pan empties empties and 
stuff like that. I really want to do more Get Ready With Me's and Palette Bingo's again. I really, really enjoy making those. Um, some of you have requested vlogs. What do you want to see in those vlogs? Because my life is pretty boring. <laughs> I don't do much. And fashion content, I... I have a collected haul in mind. Maybe I can share how I want to style it or something like that. Let me know. I am op open for everything. So, until my next video, I really hope you guys are going to take care of yourself. And I will hopefully see you there. Bye!